Well, hello, hello, Young and the Restless Daily Recap fans. Today's daily recap is for Wednesday, November the 2nd, 2022, Wednesday, November the 2nd. And this was a so-so episode of Young and the Restless, you know, slow, slow moving. We have Adam, you know, wandering, looking for Chelsea, which to me, that's wrong. Bottom line, this is already the next day. At some point, even Sharon should have reached out and told him where his wife was. Nick, for sure, 100%. Oh, no, Nick didn't know. I'm sorry. Billy, for sure, 100% wrong for not letting Adam know where Connor's mother is. I don't agree with that. Not one bit. He's wondering, just trying to, he showed up at Sally's office. And he saw her packing and that's how he found out she had been let go, you know, but he's looking for Chelsea. Now, simultaneously, Nick is in the office with Victoria and she's doing her usual, brought him some coffee and a pastry. And he's still upset at what she did and telling her it was wrong. Sally still was doing her job. And she goes, no, you just can't see it's best for Newman enterprises and victor walks in at the same time and says and i agree never wanted that spectrum woman here no we need someone else and he is all for neil i was shocked that victor was all for neil and 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 nicholas was like wait what but he betrayed his family and victor said but he's always been loyal to us Oh, because the Newman family is the most important family in Genoa City to everybody, everybody. So Nicholas is like, oh, just, you know what? I'll leave you two at it, right? So Sally speaks to Adam, you know, they do their talk, talk, talk. Adam leaves because he's still looking for Chelsea. Um, he goes to Crimson Lights. And he's on the phone leaving another message for Billy. Billy, this is yet another message. You were the last person seen with Chelsea. I want to know, is Chelsea okay? Where she's at? And so, of course, he hangs up because it's voicemail. Well, he sees Nick coming into Crimson Lights. And, you know, Adam's upset anyway. So he couldn't help but taking a dig at Nick for firing Sally and yada, yada, yada. And where it was left, Sally was walking in saying, is everything okay here? You know? So um, we also have, I really love this cute scene. We have the detective trio in Nikki's house. And at least they're finally not meeting in public anymore. Thank goodness for that. You know, and it, the scene first um, opened with Victor's on his phone. He and Faith are playing this long distance ch uh, chess game and he's kind of got her, doesn't know if he for sure has her. It was real cute. And um, Ashley comes in. So they talk for a quick minute. And um, then Phyllis comes in as Victor's getting up to leave. So, you know, he's like, you know what? It's nice to see all, th you know, you three beautiful women in here together, even though you're united for a common cause, but it's nice to see you all here together. And Phyllis is looking at him like, oh, good God. You know, Ashley stomachs him because, you know, she has, he, she and Victor have a good relationship together as Abby's parents. But Phyllis, woo, you know, Phyllis can't stand him, even though he is the grandfather of her daughter. But, you know, that's Victor. So they're talking, and Ashley lets them know that. Uh, Diane, what Diane confessed to Jack, okay? And they're like, what, what? She really confessed? And oh my goodness, they're so pleased with themselves that they put enough, her feet to the fire enough that it made her move. Because see, she didn't want that Talia Morgan to come up with something before she could soften the blow with Jack, right? And so they were, Phyllis was celebrating to tell me, oh, how fast did Jack? put Diane out on her butt, right? And Ashley's like, well, to tell you the truth, Jack isn't. Jack is still thinking that she had no choice. Sometimes people are forced into doing things. And Phyllis and Nikki are like, oh, you've got to be kidding me. 
How is he that gullible? Tell me, how's he that gullible? Oh, so Ashley's like, I, I know, I, I know. And says, quite frankly, what Jack told me, I don't feel is all of it. I feel there's another shoe waiting to drop where Diane Jenkins is concerned. And Nikki and Phyllis were like, yeah, we believe so too, right? Well, before Ashley got to Nikki's, uh, Kyle and Summer arrived back home from their honeymoon. Jack was so happy to see him, you know, and they were all happy. And Ashley comes out the kitchen area. Hey, you guys are back. Whoa. So she hugs them both. And then she's looking at him and she goes, huh? So you haven't told him? And she's looking at Jack and he's like, no, I haven't. And Kyle's like, Kevin told us what? And Summer's like, well, what hasn't he told us? Oh, Abby couldn't wait. I mean, not Abby. Ashley couldn't wait to spill the beans. Well, there was a connection between Tucker and Diane in Los Angeles. And she just spilled it so Jack would have no choice but to finish filling them in. But one thing that Jack did tell them is Ashley doesn't know all of it. You know, Ashley, he only told Ashley that Tucker was involved. He didn't tell Ashley about the other guy. And I forgot his name so fast because he doesn't mean anything to the soap. And he said, because I just didn't want that to be, you know, common, common knowledge amongst, you know, everybody. I wanted you to know, Kyle, you know, and Kyle is just disappointed. He goes, you know, I asked her point blank, even just as soon as, as late as before we went on the honeymoon, was there any secrets she was keeping from me? And she looked me in my face and said, no. And so Summer's like, how did you find this out? And he goes, well, Diane told me because uh, Talia Morgan was in town again and she knew that, you know, Phyllis and Nikki, but she, I don't know why, I don't think he even said Nikki. He said, Phyllis has been talking to her. And she goes, my mother promised me she would let that go. And she didn't. Oh. So now Summer's upset that Phyllis has lied to her right so um they kind of end the scene there you know with jack finished filling them in and kyle just doesn't know what to do you know here this she just will lie to his face right but jack is kind of smoothing out people have reasons they do certain things you know sometimes people feel they have no child oh my goodness jack shut up shut up right so we have now we're back to, let's see, Phyllis. No, no. At society, Diane walks in and she walks over to Tucker and she sitting down and uh, sits down and says, Tucker, something or other. And Tucker's like, Diane, Diane. Mm. So you felt you're sure that you had to go ahead and and, and tell Jack, you know, what you told Jack and you're sure that it's going to go your way. And she's like, well, yeah, you know, like, yeah, I'm no longer under your thumb. And she's, yeah. And he goes, mm, that's the problem with being sure. <laughs> you know, he's like, yeah, things don't always go the way you want. And she's looking at him. So Tucker gets up to pay his bill and she's standing up now and she's like, you know what, Tucker, you know what I want to know is, yes, I was actually supposed to get the confidential financial information uh, on Jabo for you, but I could never get to that information. I was never, I'm not even on that level in the company to be privy to any of that, right? And Jack was just not going to, uh, certainly not going to just hand it over to me, right? And I thought, oh, so that was the real reason. The real reason wasn't for him to just get, know what Ashley's doing. Because Ashley even said to uh, Nikki and Phyllis, there's something more to that. There's something, him wanting tabs on me, um, that Diane getting all the ends to the family that she wanted, it doesn't equal out. Tucker wanted something else. There's something else Diane was supposed to do, right? Now she's still like, I'm, she's still hot on the trail, right? 
So when, when Diane said it, I said, ah, oh, I knew it. I knew it. And she goes, well, had I been able to get you the information you wanted, Tucker, what were your plans? What were you planning to do to Jabot? And he looks at her, he goes, you see, Diane, since our relationship is over, then you have no need to know what I was going to do with that information. So she goes, well, your, your main objective was to, to win Ashley back. How do you think you'd be able to win Ashley back if you had planned on doing some kind of, you know, uh, a hostile takeover of her family's company and you, you took her family's company away from her? How is that supposed to get her back for you? And he says, no one said I was going to take the company, Ashley's family company away from Ashley no one said that and she just looked at him and then he said something he said it was funny it was a little veiled veiled uh threat that Tucker said to her and she looked at him like like huh you know not not bodily harm threat but no 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 he's got a lot more on Diane and he's like mm. He's biding his time and she knows it and she's nervous and she's upset. Come on, camera, get right. She's upset. What's going on with my camera? There we go. These Zoom, these, uh, I have a Logitech camera. And sometimes if you move too fast, it cannot focus, right? So anyway, she's left, she had her hand on her hip. Like, what do you think? What could he mean by that? Because as he touches her arm and turns and walks away, she's left like, huh, I think I'm worried, right? So now we have, um, the ladies are still talking and it was really, really cute because Phyllis says, you know what? Oh, goodness. I'm going to have to take things into my own hands, you know, with Jack back, back pedaling and letting Diane, Diane off the hook, right? So Phyllis storms out of Nikki's house and Nikki and Ashley are looking like, oh, okay, go ahead and stir up something, girl. Go ahead. Go ahead with your bad self. So she gets over to the Abbott house and, and some are still upset. Oh, my mother lied to me. Cause he's like, I can't believe my mother lied to me. And my mother lied to me too. Which mother do you think magnitude of lie was worse? Hmm. The one that says, okay, I'll play nice in the sand. I won't keep digging up for dirt or the one that fed you a whole lie of a story and looked you dead in your face that mother hmm, which one what could you be mad at right so she summer tells kyle go let her in because phyllis is knocking at the door so kyle goes and lets her in she goes hey she didn't know they were back you two are back and she's like oh my goodness back from your honeymoon already and so Summer's looking at her and Kyle's just looking at her and she's like, uh, you two don't look like honeymooners to me. And so then he goes, yeah, we were just uh, informed about something he said. He didn't, he didn't out and out say Diane, right? So she goes, oh, thank God, you know, thank God, you know about your mother about how she, Phyllis was just holding no punches about Diane, right? And so Summer says, you lied to me. You promised me you were going to stop this trying to find dirt on Diane. And Phyllis was like, hey, wait, whoa. You guys stop right there. Stop right there. Oh, you all told me, oh no, I was wrong. Oh no, don't be worried about Diane. Oh no, she goes, I knew that she was lying. I knew it. I, she goes, you know what? I hate to say I told you so, but Phyllis leaned back and said, but I was right. I, <laughs> I was like, yes, Phyllis, be Phyllis, please be Phyllis, right? And Kyle is just looking. She goes, so don't even 
think about, oh, you're upset with me. I wasn't the one who was lying like Diane was lying. I just refused to believe it and refute. And, and, and she was like, I'm determined to, to uncover the truth, you know, to that effect, right? So she's looking like, hey, so what? She's going, so now what do you plan on doing about Diane? <laughs> Oh my goodness, that was hilarious to me because yeah, now right, she's right. What do you see? And, and Phyllis should have brought up, you know what? You know what, baby girl? Remember when Sally Spectra and Tara Locke ran you out of town and you went to Paris and you would not tell us why you left so abruptly? And I knew something was up. I knew it in my core. And she, 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 Phyllis should have told her. And you told me, mom, just drop it. I'm happy here. In Paris. I think she was in London. Marchetti was London. Because Ashley, when she leaves, she goes to Paris. I think Marchetti was in London. I'm happy here. Just, just leave it alone. And Phyllis did not leave it alone. Phyllis uncovered the truth. The absolute truth, which with what Phyllis uncovered, which caused Tara to go to jail. And now that's why Kyle and Summer have custody of little Harrison. Who's thanking Phyllis for that? But Phyllis was right. She was right. And she kept going, well, she's right about Diane. Her, Nikki, and Ashley. There is more than meets the eye where Diane is concerned. Okay, and it all needs to come out. And you know what? It will come out. Honestly, it's going to come out uh, on Tucker's hands, I believe. Because whatever Diane was doing is going to ruin things for Diane in relationships to the Abbots. It's not going to do a darn thing to Tucker. It, it, it will mean nothing to Tucker if the, the truth comes out and Diane loses everything. So uh, that was pretty cute. It was interesting how that progressed. And I just love Phyllis being Phyllis. Uh, I think I've said this before, Michelle Stafford playing the role of Phyllis is my favorite actress playing the role of Phyllis. And Phyllis is my favorite female uh, character on The Young and the Restless. So anyway, let's go to Comic Corner. Comic Corner, LaShanta says, Chance is right. Abby's nag. They won't be together long. No, they won't. She's got to be the center of attention and Chance is a rolling stone. I agree with you 100%. Why are my comments not moving? Let me see what's happening here. Something's happening to my comments. I'll just go here. And, and uh, Chance is a rolling stone. And Kiki says, great review. I was okay with Billy's uh, response at that moment. However, as soon as Sharon talked to Chelsea, I thought sh Adam should have called Adam or at least text him after he had called Sharon or Lily. That's, I mean, you know, Adam's making all these calls to people. No, he feels, he feels that should know. See, if you, he didn't feel you needed to know, then he wasn't going to put you in the loop. And it says, Billy was in help mode. Yes, uh, Lashanta said that, that Billy was in help mode. Yes, Billy was in help mode, but Billy was also in help my grudge mode. Help my grudge mode. Billy was not thinking anything about Adam because he hates Adam. So he could care less. We're talking, it's the next day. And Adam still does not know his wife is in a 72 hour hold. There is something wrong with that. He did not threaten. I mean, Sharon was not running from Adam. Sharon is not afraid. I mean, not Sharon. Chelsea was not running from Adam. Cher Chelsea is not afraid of Adam. When Billy was saying, did, did, did Adam say something? Chelsea was just looking at him. Chelsea was madder at Billy than she ever was with Adam. But Billy won't see it that way. He feels, look, this is a one up. This is a one up on Adam. And that's what uh, Billy wants. 
That's exactly what Billy wants. So anyway, I'm, I'm not happy with that part of it. But thank you so much for Comment Corners. We only had those three comments there. Um, I will be back tomorrow. And you know, Thursdays are usually blah, blah, blah days for soap. So I'm sure it'll be a fast daily recap on Thursday. Probably not too much going on, but I will be here to tell you about it. So have a phenomenal day.